Oh, well, uh, I can't have everything in stock, I suppose. Hmm? Welcome to the Rosa in Fiore, stranger. Salve. Would you be kind enough to call the owner for me? Madonna Solari is not in. Do you know where she is? I... Aiuto! Aiuto! Madonna Solari! Oh, Lucia! We thought you were gone for good. The men took us on a ship. And they released me, but she... Who took you on a ship? Slave traders, Messere. Near Isola Tiberina. They want coin in exchange for her life. I will get her back. Miserable place. <laughs> 
Have your money. Let her go. No! Take it up with Cesare!
Mother? Sister? Ezio. Sir Machiavelli said that you might be here. What are you doing in Roma? Has Firenze been attacked? No, or rather, I do not know. We did not go to Firenze. Why? Ezio, we want to help. I was trying to help you by sending you to Firenze. Where is Madonna Solari? She's dead. Merda. What now? Will we have to close? You cannot close. I need your help. Messere, without someone who can run things, we're finished. I'll do it. You do not belong here, Claudia. I know how to run a business. I ran Uncle Mario's for years. This is different. What alternative do you have, Ezio? You do this, Claudia, and you are on your own. I've been on my own for 20 years. Fine. I intend to repair the brothel. This place is a real mess. And I want your courtesans to find Caterina Sforza. You can count on us. Guaranteed for life. <laughs> Welcome to the Rosa in Fiore. As you can see, the most popular brothel in Roma. My money went well invested. Here, I keep a list of the skills taught to my girls. You're not teaching them much. Think you could do better? Nessun problema. Ezio, the Borgia make it difficult for Claudia's girls. There are several things you could do that would aid them. I will keep that in mind. Anything else? No. Ezio. Did you find Caterina? We are working on it. Bene. Come to see me at Isola Tiberina with her location. Buongiorno, Madre. Ezio, thank you for coming to see me. What troubles the courtesans? The old proprietor of this brothel, Madonna Solari, was a cheat and liar. Her ties to the church have been uncovered. Worse, several of those who work for us sleep with the enemy still. I will find them. Visit the girls I trust. They will help you. Grazie, Ezio.
<laughs> Ezio. La Volpe. I'm surprised to see you. And why have you appeared at my door? Wait, I know the answer. You always do. You want to put my spies to work? Then join me. In aiding Machiavelli? No, thank you. That man is a traitor to our order. A serious allegation coming from a thief. What is your proof? He was an ambassador to the papal court and traveled as a personal guest of Cesare himself. I also know he abandoned you right before the villa attack. Machiavelli may not please all tastes, but he is an assassin, not a traitor. I am not convinced. Ah, he is meeting someone in the Trastevere right now. Care to accompany me? I will follow.
What do you make of that? Claudio has been injured! They are going to shoot him. I will kill these. Go! Get the others! Dora! <laughs> you die! 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 <laughs> from the guards. I cannot. They are going to kill me. Pay attention. Do what I do. Stay close. Claudio! Molte grazie, Messeri. Keep out of sight for a while, Intesi. The guards are looking for you. I see they have posters up. Then rip them down. You can pay the heralds a few florins to silence them. Or I can eliminate witnesses. <laughs> you know how to disappear.
What a night this has been. Volpe, listen to me. I know what we saw. But you have nothing to fear from Machiavelli. I am sure of it. I have you to thank for saving Claudio's life. If you believe Machiavelli remains loyal to the Order, I trust you. So, what of the thieves? We had plans to repair this old building, but now that you and I are working together, I would like to know what you think. We need to make sure the Borgias stay away. Perhaps it could look like an inn. Yes. Hmm, I like that idea. Then I will make it so. Welcome, Ezio, to La Volpe Addormentata. The inn looks perfect. No one will ever suspect its real purpose. The guild will be run from here. Visit me whenever you like. There might be objectives to pursue that will help our cause in the city. I see you thieves compete against each other. You can participate if you wish. Perhaps you will show them a thing or two. Ah, yes, I forgot. We also have gambling. It is a great source of income, especially since we ensure that the Borgia guards always lose. One last thing. I need your spies to find the apple. It has been taken from me. We are searching the city for it already. Molto bene. Come to Isola Tiberina with your findings. I shall.
I've traditional remedy. May wellness remain your companion. You dropped out of the grid. Where were you? Not sure. Some kind of fragmented memory? Maybe you should stop. I'm good. I want to keep going. Loading.
Loading. Loading. Loading. Quarantine zone. Quarantine lifted. I'll put 16's video files here. Hopefully they'll begin to make sense as you free up each file. Come in, come in! I'll kill you if you don't. <laughs> Bartolomeo. Wait here. You have to meet my wife. Fantasilea! Fantasilea! Where is she? Did you check behind the table? Ah, here she is. Lieta di conoscervi. Charmed. Truly. Now, we talk about war. How was the fight against the French? Bene. My men are holding their own. Machiavelli seemed to think things were more difficult. You know Machiavelli... Abbiamo bisogno del vostro aiuto! Scusatemi. Throw me Bianca. Ezio, let me get straight to the point. The fight is not going well. We have been attacked on both sides. Borgia on one, French on the other. But know this. The Borgia position is weak. If you can defeat them, we can concentrate our forces on the French front. I think I know a way to help. Thank you for disclosing this to me, Madonna Dalviano. It is the least a wife can do to help her husband. Stop their leader before he gets to the tower!
We sent those luridi codardi running for the hills. Yes, we did. Now that the Pope's dogs have fled, I will be able to draw more men to the fight. But first I want to reinforce our barracks. Who will take care of this? I'm no good with these things. You are the educated one. You approve the plans. Va bene. But in return, I need to know Cesare and Rodrigo's every move. Can your men keep track of them for me? Of course. Isn't she a thing of beauty? Very impressive. More men join us every day. It has become very competitive, which is just the way I like it. As you can see, this board shows the ranks of our top warriors. Prove your skills, and you will move up the list. <laughs> Shouldn't I already be at the top? 
Jan's fighting downstairs. If you're looking to show off, we also have fights. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got money on this match. <laughs> Where is Bartolomeo? At the fight downstairs. He has such an aggressive view of the world. However, strategy is equally important. Take these carrier pigeons, for example. Each one sent from Machiavelli bears the name of an important Templar in Roma. Eliminate them, and you will have more of an impact than a battle ever could. Thank you, Madonna. Can you ask Bartolomeo to come see me at Isola Tiberina with a report about Cesare and Rodrigo's whereabouts? He will be there. I must be getting lazy in my old age. I did not know you had returned to Roma. What was that? Salahi, is that you? It's you. I must be getting lazy in my old age. I did not know you had returned to Roma. Unfortunately, I cannot stay. I'm here to charter a ship. Let me assist you. I know a captain. He's very discreet. Hang on, I have the name recorded somewhere. What are you working on? Oh, this? A hobby of mine. Of course you are familiar with Pythagoras. Remind me. The brilliant scholar from Grecia, who discovered many secrets about the heavenly spheres and our cosmos. These symbols come from him? Ever since my exploration of that strange apple, they have been stamped on my mind. I found symbols like them in the writings of the Pythagorean disciples. I am afraid the captain's name escapes me. The apple has been put to rest. 
Perhaps it would do you good to focus on painting. You seem to be doing decent work on this one. Ha! <laughs> you are kind. However, even I can see that she is badly drawn. And that smile, overdone, meaningless. But forget painting. I made a breakthrough in my research several days ago. A huge discovery. Salai! Can you bring them? Oh, he's not back. I intended to accompany you to the docks, but we cannot leave my workshop without my assistant. Bene. An easy task. I am afraid you underestimate Salai. Hm. Wait and see. Suit yourself. You will likely find him at La Volpe Addormentata. I told you those dice were lucky. Fortuna wishes she were as good as me. Gian Giacomo. I do not answer to that name. <laughs> Salai. Better, but not good enough. Yes! Di nuovo! Leonardo, your master requests your presence. Let him wait. No. <laughs> nice hood. Are you one of Julius's monks? My church is not of God. Outside the kingdom of God is the realm of men. <laughs> you worship there, Messere? Come with me and find out. It has been fun, but I must go. Please, do not depart. The game is not finished. Sorry, but a better offer has arisen. Lead on, Messere. The three men from the dice game follow us. Stay quiet. Why? Sentite! I am done playing! So are we! There is only one man in Roma who can put on a show like that. You must be Ezio Auditore. Come. We need to return to Leonardo right away. You do not talk much, do you? Fine. I will run ahead. You catch up.
These strangers do not quit. Disciples wearing similar robes appeared once before. They sought an object I had in my possession. You mean the piece of Eden? Leonardo told you. Tells me everything. I fear his indiscretion has cost us greatly. We must warn him. Say no more. I know the best route home. I take it every morning after the taverns close. Follow me. I'm going around. How about some fun on the rooftops? Leonardo told me that he had discovered something important. He has been exploring a hidden catacomb for years now. I think he came to Roma to find it. You have no idea what he is like. He works on this all the time. He never takes me out. And he's so cheap. I have to beg him for money. He actually gives coins to you? More or less. What he does not know will not hurt him. Allora, you're from Firenze. Tell me more. Fine. I will use my imagination. in the day for fighting. Follow me! Leonardo discovered something in the catacombs. He found the entrance to a temple. Something he read about in his books. I've not seen him that excited in years. Did he say anything else? That the temple contains the perfect number. <laughs> something discovered by some scholar from Grecia. Pythagoras. Try this on for size! Taste my blade! Get them! Attack! Get them! I see him! Taste my blade! Try this on for size! You want to get back quickly? Avoid their swords! Knowing Leonardo, I suppose he spoke of his discovery to whomever would listen. Did you notice any robbed men around him? Why would I spend my time at the workshop when I can go out and have fun? Ask the master himself when we get there. He must be here. The temple he discovered. Where is it? Leonardo. Salai, you want to save him? Tell me where the temple is. I do not know. Cazzo. Ezio. Something is written on the floor. What does it say? I cannot read. Leonardo promised to teach me, but now... Villa. Paintings. He wants us to examine art. I remember when Leonardo lived at your villa, he was researching the location of the catacombs. Several of his paintings hung in the gallery there. What do they have to do with the temple? 
Perhaps the pages of his research are hidden in one of the frames. The paintings are gone. They all burned in the attack. No, they did not. Only Leda and St. John, the Borgia, took the rest. Six paintings. Five. I told the art merchant that portrait of a lady was by Leonardo. I needed the money for a doublet. Of course, now it has gone out of fashion. Who has the paintings now? Lucrezia Borgia, in her husband's palazzo outside Ferrara. Then it is time I took back what was stolen. Machiavelli, we must talk. Yes. I secured something of great worth from one of my contacts. We now have the names of several Templar agents Cesare has recruited to terrorize Roma. How do I find them? I can give you a general location. I suggest looking for signs of distress nearby. Perhaps you will uncover citizens who can point you in the right direction. My contact will continue searching for more names. This information came from a city guard. Yes. How did you know? Lucky guess. Grazie. Claudia, Bartolomeo, and La Volpe are waiting for you inside. I can't imagine how you did it. Virtù, Machiavelli. Virtù? What have you discovered? That bastardo Cesare is in the Castel Sant'Angelo with the Pope. My spies tell me that the apple has been secreted to someone, for a study. I am working on determining his identity. Caterina will be moved to the prison within the Castello next week. Bene. So the Castello it is. Roma will heal quickly with Cesare and Rodrigo gone. Only if the opportunity to assassinate them arises will I take it. Do not repeat your mistake in the vault. You must kill them now. I'm with Machiavelli, Ezio. We should not wait. 
Bartolomeo is right. They must pay for Mario's death. Do not worry. They will die. You have my word. Sir Ezio, I represent the combined resources of Bartolomeo del Viano, Claudio Auditore, and La Volpe. Through my associates spread across the city, you can channel your florins to any part of the underground you desire. You may have seen notices posted around Roma which allow you to purchase buildings. Income from your new tenants will be deposited with bookkeepers, as well as additional profit from renovations. Bookkeepers can be found throughout the city. Molto bene. Only a fool could walk past my shop without at least a quick look. Oh, not the genius. 